In today's video, we're going to look at three clips which are truly shocking. But as always, there's a strong educational message. Motorists are usually the ones that can do more damage when a collision happens with the more vulnerable, but sometimes collisions happen that motorists can do very little about. Viewer's discretion is advised with this one. The first piece of footage actually happens in Liverpool, not that far away from where I live. And what I'd like you to do is ask yourself the question, would this have caught you out? I know the lady seems to get back up quite quick, but make sure if you're a witness to anything like this that you get this person checked out. The shock can be a big, big danger. Luckily, plenty of people come to her aid, including a policeman who's just seen the incident. Has anyone else got onto the irony of the company of the vehicle that struck this pedestrian? You couldn't have written that one. Humans often make rash decisions, and this is often how accidents happen, but I hope that this lady wasn't too badly injured. I can understand why she didn't look to the right. She'd probably seen the incident that was happening up at the traffic lights and didn't expect anyone to be coming down that outside lane. I'd like you to let me know in the comments what you think of the vehicle that struck this lady's speed. I'm not sure I would have been passing stationary vehicles that quickly. Although my viewer wasn't extremely close to the vehicle in front, keeping a bigger distance in a queue can help lower risk in situations like this. If you're further away from that vehicle in front, anyone crossing in between has got a better view of traffic that's passing, and the traffic passing has got a better view of the pedestrians, so try and keep this in mind. The next clip that we're going to see is quite similar to the first, but I think the potential for serious injury is higher in this one. Again, the pedestrian doesn't even look. My viewer did keep a fair bit more space on this one, but it has little benefit when the pedestrian just walks out as they did, and the passing cars have no thought for this situation. The added potential seriousness comes from the speed that the black car was passing the stationary vehicles. So the next time you're in a similar situation, try and remember these last two clips. And another little point, the black car didn't seem to stop. What's your thoughts on that? Surely the driver of that car knew what had just gone on. Scary to think if they didn't. In this final clip, I'm not even going to show the collision because it's so shocking. In the first two clips, I've said that my speed maybe would have been lower and I maybe could have done something else about it. But in this clip, this would have caught me out. It's a fellow driving instructor that this happened to. He was driving at 34 miles an hour in a 40 limit. And there are no clues whatsoever that this young 11 year old cyclist was just going to ride out from behind the van. The instructor has been cleared of any wrongdoing, but because of the human element, this proves that you are liable to have these situations happen, even though there's very little that you could do about it. Now, I know that these clips today have been quite graphic. They're not designed to scare, they're designed to make you think. Is there anything with your driving that you think you could change to stop yourself being involved in an incident like this? Keep safe out there. I hope to see you soon.